All right, out of the dyno room. Now it's time to go under surgery with Dr. Joel and uh, we're gonna freshen this bad boy up. Got all of my parts here from, of course, Main Street Cycle. Got a full service kit right here and uh, we're gonna get to work and take you through some of the highlights. We've done a bunch of oil changes, so we're probably gonna just do it, do that real quick. And then we're going to, oh yeah, there it is. Really gonna focus on some of the things that we don't typically do on just a regular oil change, right? So we're gonna show you the front diff, rear diff, how to service those, uh, gonna change the air filter out. Uh, we're gonna do a few other things. So we'll take you along for the ride, here we go. And of course, I'm gonna put nothing but the best, the total oil, the C, that's the CF Moto Premium Oil. And uh, you can get that right here at Main Street Cycle. It's so easy to get on the website, mainstreetcycle.com and go and order your service kit. Um, you can actually, I'm going to be changing the spark plug out as well, uh, just because I want to. Uh, you don't have to, but I'm going to, through your old machine, go ahead and change that out. You can get those at Main Street Cycle. You can get uh, your old filter, go and do the uni air filter upgrade. And uh, also here's our gear oil for our front and rear diff. So you can get all that at MainStreetCycle.com. There's also some other options on there if you just don't want to get the CF Moto recommended oil for some reason. Uh, we've got a bunch of options. So if you're a fan of a certain brand, it's it's on there. So go check that out. All right, Joel, so we're just gonna take the drain bolt out. And uh, what is that? A 17. 17 millimeter. And look, here's a funny note here. I don't know if it's funny or not. That don't <laughs> look that bad, but this oil in this machine, my machine, remember this is the first part of the video series of restoring my 500. Uh, this oil hadn't been changed in over two years. So this is two year old oil. And remember this, the story behind this machine, I sold it to my buddy who manages a, a 84 acre campground. It's a youth campground for church camp. And uh, he used it just primarily for utility purposes. He never went recreation riding or nothing like that. He just pulled a trailer with it. He hauled a chainsaw, did a lot of log work and uh, just maintaining the property. So it would do a lot of cranking, <clears throat> going down about 300 yards, shutting it off, doing some work, pull the trailer back. So it was a lot of start and stopping. And uh, and so the machine really is is in great shape. He really used it a lot. Like I said, he, never, he probably washed it twice and never changed the oil in the last two years. So that don't look too bad, boys. So we uh, just finished draining it. Again, we're not trying to go in super, a whole bunch of detail on uh, the oil change part. We've done several videos on that. Just tighten it all back up. All right, Joel, so this is where we really want to show the people uh, we're draining the rear differential. So what do they need to do? Straighten the bottom, eight millimeter Allen head. All right, y'all see that? That's your drain bolt, eight millimeter Allen head. All right, let that all drain out. All right, so you're gonna get a new brass washer in your kit. You can clean the magnet off here and uh, make sure that's all clean. Uh, before you go back with it. So remember, whenever you order a full kit from Main Street Cycle, you'll get everything that you need when it's shipped to your door. And remember, shipping is super fast from Main Street Cycle. All right, once it's all drained, we'll just simply put the drain bolt back in and tighten her down. All right, so now we're at the front of the machine. We're gonna go ahead and drain it as well. And same situation. We've got our Allen head. I'm gonna break that loose and drain the front diff. Beautiful. Now you'll just get your new washer that came in the kit, replace it, clean the drain bolt, and then we'll tighten that back down when it's all drained out. All right, so now we're going back on with the drain bolt, tighten that back down, don't over tighten it. If you don't have a torque wrench, don't stress about it. Just get it kind of, get it tight and uh, don't bow up on it. It don't take much. 
All right, now that we've got all of our oil drained out of our rear differential and front differential, we're gonna come back here to the rear. We're gonna take this side bolt out, which is where you're going to fill uh, your differential. 14 millimeter. All right. Then we're gonna take our total diff oil, our gear oil, and this is what you can get at Main Street Cycle. And this is what I highly recommend, we all highly recommend you use. Pull the nozzle out, insert the nozzle there into the side uh, fill hole for your rear differential, and just uh, slowly let that go in. And on the on this 2020 model C Force 500, you have to pour it in there until it starts coming out the bottom of the hole there, obviously, and that'll be full. All right, so now that a little bit's coming out the the bottom of the hole there, we're going to put our bolt back on and uh, our cap rather. Make sure all that's clean because you don't want to get dirt and debris inside your rear differential. So then we'll tighten it down with our 14 millimeter wrench and then we'll move to the front side. All right, the front side, a little more aggravating just because of where the bolt is at. What size is that? Eight. All right, eight millimeter. Allen. Now eight millimeter Allen head. I'm gonna try to get that focus for you. It's gonna be the same situation. Get your gear oil nozzle and just put it in there and you just gotta slowly let that fill in. And uh, right inside there is uh, the, you know, the gears for the differential. And uh, if the mesh is uh, kind of in the way, it could be blocking the oil from going in. You can just kind of move the tire a little bit, line that up where it lets the most oil inside of the differential. And then on this particular model, again, just pour it in there nice and slow until it starts leaking out and that's full. Now on other models, uh, th that is not the case. And we'll talk about that when we get to those machines. But on this one, that's that's the steps that you have to take. So now that we've got the differentials done, we're gonna move now to our oil filter and simply take that uh, side protective cover off. And remember, there's a grommet here that you can slide out, grommet here, and this one just pulls straight out. So we've got those here and here. Now we've got uh, eight millimeter bolts that we gotta take out. Just simply get you a oil catch can there for you. And uh, remember that old foot well there is gonna kind of spread it everywhere, but try to catch it the best you can so you don't make too big of a mess. And we're gonna replace that with a fresh, nice CF Moto oil filter. We'll clean all this up. We'll put our new O-ring that comes in your kit as well. And we'll be ready to rock and roll, protect this engine with the best CF Moto oil there is. And that's why we highly recommend that you use this oil here. This is the oil that we definitely recommend. The CF Moto oil right here. That's the 5W40. And so you can see CF Moto right there. This is the good stuff. And uh, you can get that at Main Street Cycle. Please do not run just regular automobile engine oil uh, at Walt from Walmart or something. Get the good stuff for these power sports machines. Uh, but now if you are uh, someone that likes to run different oil that is motorcycle oil, we've got different options for you on the website. And it's the good stuff that you can use like AMS oil. Then of course also we've got our Maxima racing oil that we also like. Uh, you can get that at MainStreetCycle.com. There's different options and it's the good stuff. So if you order from Main Street Cycle, We've got options and we've got good ones, but I do recommend the total or total oil uh, for your CF Moto. So now that we got this all tight and clean, now we're simply going to put the good stuff in there, protect this engine, make it last for many more years. Boom. Oh yeah, liquid gold, baby. All right, so we just fired her up. We're checking for leaks, as well as just letting the oil circulate so that we can check for proper oil level. Just let it run, it don't take long. 30 seconds, no more than a minute is needed. 
All right, so Joel checking the level. Remember, don't screw it back in. Just check and make sure it's going up to the fill the line. There we go. Now that we've got the right level, we've got our cover back on. Now we'll press on and keep making this thing better and better. All right, so remember my machine is snorkeled. I did this, Main Street Cycle did not do this. I did this back when I first bought it back in 2019. And uh, me and Joel wasn't even close yet. <laughs> we, wasn't, we wasn't hanging out at the time. Uh, but anyways, I snorkeled this and I siliconed the mess out of my <laughs> air box lid. Uh, we're gonna do things different after this. And plus I wanted to re-smoke test everything and check it, but you got your Phillip head screws on each side, then the clips on each side here. And uh, we'll get that up and out of the way. What in the <laughs> world? Rats. Darn. Yeah. My buddy Dustin, he let a rat get off hey, up in there. Thank you, Dustin. Wow, that's, that's like a whole horsepower right there. What in the world? You don't need that in there. <laughs> Dude, the filter does not look bad. Not at all. Wow. But we're going to put an upgraded filter anyways. So maximum protection for my CF moto. That's what I want. That's what you need. So we're going to replace that. By the way, if you've ever snorkeled a 500 or 600, you have to cut a massive hole in the side of your air box and silicone the mess out of it, and I did. So hopefully that's still holding good. We'll find out soon. Joe's gonna clean this gasket up, and then we're gonna seal it with some good marine grease, and really that's all you need. But we'll verify that, of course, with the smoke test. Just need a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen up the clamp there. We're gonna pop this stock OEM filter off. There we go, now we'll have to get that. Now keep in mind, sometimes they'll stay in here, sometimes it won't, but you gotta put that back in here. And, and then, I'd say these two lines is where the filter sits. So if it does come out and you pull it out of the filter, don't put this part inside the foiler. Okay. The line goes on the filter here. Got it, got it. Appreciate so the that tip. Side goes up in here. All right, and then we will, yeah, that's where it's supposed to be tight. We'll check all that out. That's a good time to do that now. We'll tighten that back up. That's on the outside of the box. Now we'll make sure that's clean and looks like she's nice and dry so it ain't leaked. I don't know how them paper towels got in there. I wonder if, wonder if one of his kids put some paper towel in the, uh, the snorkel there. Could have happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So anyways, we're gonna put our new Uni air filter in it that you can get at Main Street Cycle. It's the exact one that's made for this machine. Take the guesswork out of it. We're gonna oil the filter and we've got everything that you need at Main Street Cycle to do it right. So we're gonna just put a nice even coat of oil on it and uh, massage that in and take off any excess and we'll be ready to rock. All right, so we just put our uni air filter back in. Make sure you got that clamp where you can, uh, where it's not upside down. And uh, that way you can access it with a screwdriver. And we'll tighten that down. And then that's all she wrote for that. All right, now that we got that back on, we're going to put a new spark plug in this unit. 10 millimeter. Okay. Come look at it. Two Phillips head screws here. Bada bang, bada boom. This is on the gear shifter side. Boom, boom. All right. Got the rubber grommet here, and then there's two here and here. Poppy, poppy. Oh yeah. Now then. And then these clips they'll fall off a lot of times. Okay, yep. Make sure you don't lose those little clips. Now you can kind of see where the, <laughs> yeah, that's the big old hose for the uh, the intake Here's the from the snorkel. All right, so spark plug, spark plug wire there. There's your spark plug, so not too bad to get to. All right, spark plug's a 5 eight.
And again, y'all saw, if you saw the previous video, you saw that this 500 runs and idles great, actually. And, uh, but I just want to go ahead three years into it. It's not a, an expensive thing to change a spark plug out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And again, you can get this at Main Street Cycle as well. So looks good. Yeah, Joel says it looks good, but we'll go ahead and change it. How about that? Yep, new plug. Going back in with it. So just tighten her back down. So it's not fun snorkeling these units, that's for sure. She'll let somebody from Main Street Cycle snorkel it, huh? <laughs> All right, that's it. Got our boot back on. Now we just simply put our cover back on and we're good to go. So just carefully get everything back in place without scratching her up, which this one's already scratched pretty bad. Got the grommets, those all went in good. And then we'll put our screws in here and our 10 millimeter bolt there. One more step is we love to put this five in one ultimate fuel additive in our fuel when we do our full service treatment. Uh, matter of fact, I personally use this quite often. Not every time I put gas in it, but uh, probably probably every three tanks I put some of this in there. Uh, one bottle will last you a couple of uh, tanks of gas. And this is some premium stuff, guys. All right, guys, one more thing that we do before we finish up our full service here at Main Street Cycle is uh, we've got to lube some things up. We've got to grease a few fittings. Here on the sway bar, you can grease that. Right here, after you lube this side up on your sway bar, you can come over here and on the lower side of your spindle, take and grease it up. And we're out of grease. Oh, we got to get some more grease. Hey, where can you get grease at? Main Street side. That's right. So we got you some grease that you can get uh, to do this uh, on your own, at your own house, garage, whatever. But anyways, you're gonna take and grease the upper part of your spindle, lower part, and then right here on your sway bar. And then uh, you'll come to the other side, repeat the steps, grease here, grease down here, and right there. There's nothing to grease up front, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and show you some lube that we like to use to, we actually do that quite frequently on our personal units uh before you know any big rides over the weekend or anything like that but and and also i i know that the machine got dirty between this clip and the one prior and that's because well i went and did some riding you'll see that in another video so <laughs> stay tuned uh but anyways i wanted to go ahead and finish this video up and uh, finish the full service video for you. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Maxima Racing Oils Multi-Purpose Penetrating Lube. And this is something that you can also get at MainStreetCycle.com. That's what we're gonna use to lube up some part moving parts that you can't grease. And uh, Joel's gonna kinda give you his personal tips on what he would do on his machine, and you can do the same. I spray anything that moves, so like shocks, A-arms, even where I grease, I also run through and just spray up these yeah. uh, joints here. Yep, I agree. But uh, I like using this stuff quite often because it also helps keep that mud from sticking as bad. It helps wash it off. But you're lubing those parts that are that are moving parts that you can't grease, and uh, all your suspension components. I do the key switch Spray and a little. hold it open with the key. Yeah, and that also it helps keep, you know, corrosion from happening and stuff like that. Steering, Steering stem. Right here where that's twisting. Brake lever. Dirty get packed in there. Same thing on the front as the back. Spray the A on it. Just repeat the process, all your moving parts. This stuff is safe to use on it and it just keeps everything lubed up, keeps everything from getting any corrosion and uh, helps everything move freely. Shifter linkage here. And that's it on the 500. And of course, with every machine, each one has different points, different things that we focus on. 
But for the most part, that takes care of your C-Force 400, 500, 600 is pretty similar as well. And, uh, but again, we're going to do specific model specific videos for all of you, uh, over the next little while. So be looking for that, but you can get this at mainstreetcycle.com as well. And, uh, at this time I'm going to, uh, go ahead and put my big old system three XM 310s back on and I'm going to be ready to rip. I've already got a video film for you that is going to be posted here at a later date. Uh, where I really took this thing and pushed it to the limit. But uh, as far as the full service video, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless you. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one, boys.